Peace and grace to you, dear heart dwellers. We would like to share with all of you Father Ezekiel's vision. He began, There were storm clouds brewing over a city street. A beggar was on the corner and people were walking around everywhere going to and fro. Then all of a sudden he was being transformed with light and lifted up. The beggar was being raptured. Everyone was panicked and didn't know what to do. People were running every which way and screaming. A few minutes later, a very few others were taken. The rest were left behind. The enemy will spread the lie that those who were taken were not ready for man's next step in evolution. And the earth spirit, Gaia, purged them. And that was the end of Father's vision. Mother Mary began speaking to Mother Claire. What is going on now is tragic in every sense. You are entering into the tribulation. Even now, as we speak, things are moving forward that will determine the next seven years of this world. Indeed, the Pleiadians are the worst kind of demons. Many will fall for this deception because they worship science, logic, and the structure of man's thinking. It will never occur to them to compare what is being taught to what the Church of Satan believes. You must not let that stop you, Claire. You need to make it plain that this is not the millennial reign of Christ. This is the reign of the Antichrist and the embodiment of Satan. Faith is missing in action. Faith is what enables others to believe the truth as it is revealed in the Bible. But because men and women in the body of Christ are so sold into programs, financing, showtime, provable statistics, what is seen and what is heard takes precedence over the faith. Then the faith dims in favor of programs and techniques for manipulating people into giving to support all kinds of activities inspired by the enemy, not our sweet Holy Spirit. It's business as usual, show business. There is about to be a sharp divide between those who live for the rewards of this earth and those who only live for the glory of God. The glory is seen on the beggar, taken first to heaven. But those who come next are not living the life or strengthening what remains. This pattern is repeated over and over again all over the world. There comes a point of departure where those of the earth no longer believe the supernatural. Yes, there is reform coming, but many will fall away. Many, many, many. They will not be listening to the Holy Spirit, but they will be all too ready to listen to the unholy spirit animated in others and the world. There will be a sharp division in this regard. Those who believe in science and demon aliens and those who believe in the Bible. That is where the narrative comes in, that the rapture removed those who were not fit for the new age. Oh, Mother, if not for the Lord locking up these demons for a thousand years, if it weren't for that, no one would believe. She replied, this is what the symbolism of the body of Christ being removed from the head is all about. And what she is talking about here is Ezekiel saw the head of Jesus up high on a pole. The body had been ripped off. Mother Claire asked, How do the Chinese fit into all of this? Blessed Mother continued, They are being used and have already the many rules of the Antichrist, the Golden Age. Their guidelines are parallel to Satan's. The storm is coming, Claire. The storm is coming. Cling to the Lord in all circumstances. He will protect you. Pray for the unsaved. And that was the end of Our Lady's message. Our prayers are so needed at this critical time, dear heart dwellers. Let us stay in a posture of prayer and supplication. God bless you and keep you all.